Before a condition monitoring program can take place, certain information needs to be recorded on a machine assembly. Place a unique label on each machine in a route here. The location field is also useful for identifying where in the plant the machine is placed. If there is a unique identifier for the machine, that can go in the machine ID field. Machine number is used to order the number of machines in a route. Critical can be checked if the machine would require a planned stoppage to repair or to set priority on a route. Speed reference location is not required, but helpful in the case of multiple gearboxes or other configurations. 1 and 2 denote the motor, 3 and 4 denote the coupling or gearbox input, and so on. Each machine must have a motor. Bearings must be specified between journal and rolling element because they produce different vibration types. In addition to bearings, the mounting type also needs to be identified. If the motor is on a flexible mount, alarm levels are increased because vibration can occur at a higher amplitude. Power can be either set to horsepower or kW. Output speed on a fixed speed motor will likely not be what is said on the nameplate. It's important to get the speed through a strobe or other means. With variable speed motors, it's likely that the speed will change each time data is collected. This is where the orientation of the machine can be recorded. Transmissions can be either flexible or rigid. Belt ratios are always the driven speed divided by the driver speed. For gearboxes, each stage is two meshing gears. For example, if there are three shafts, then there are two stages. The number of stages can be entered here. If known, the number of teeth in a gear can be entered here. If not, the nameplate for the gearbox will have the multiplication factor or ratio for the gear. For the driven machine, bearing type, mounting type, and the type of machine can be entered here. Now that this information is entered, data collection and analysis for this machine can begin. For more information on condition monitoring basics, visit vibroline.com.